to really get the momentum going in your country. And here we can see Fancy in lane 5 benefiting from that momentum that the Italians have produced. Starts here in the S6 class. This is heat one of the men's 400 freestyle S6. And as we see, a range of starts, but equally effective. And we saw there Perez Escalona, he doesn't have any leg kick, he just does drag, but by going from that seated start, he's able to use the length of his limbs at least to get an advantage and come up and straight into his stroke at the, fl at the flags. Perez Escalona, Cuban swimmer is fifth out of the five swimmers here. Good lead start. Lane six, it's Ahmed Ali. He's gone out and Perez Escalona. Well, second heat is fairly strong as well. Perez Escalona in these early stages, he's got a little bit of work to do, but very experienced campaigner, probably best known as a, a sprinter 150 freestyle in the past. But also very strong in the 400 freestyle, took a bronze medal last year in Rio. Maybe just by these time, we know that he's got a lot more to give. And that stroke for the Cuban is just very, very long and effective. Ali from Egypt will lead them. Thomas Bertrand in second for Spain and the young Italian 16-year-old Antonio Fantin in third position. Oh, a little bit stretched out now, Liz. They go into the, the second 100. And the key on these 400 metres is not to get sucked into someone else's race plan. We've got such a variety of impairment types in here and experience and also strengths and weaknesses. So it's very much about swimming your own race in a 400 meter freestyle. And already we see there, even though Armin Ali took that first 100 meters out now, he's, he's slowed his pace down and settled into a different rhythm. And we will see the lead changing hands. He has changed hands already. Ponce Bertrand taking that up the running now. To us, and two swimmers there on the top of your screen. That is Ahmed Ali and Antonio Fantin. These swimmers, well, Fantin certainly around about the 5:30 mark is his entry time. As they go through the halfway point, Antonio. Bertrand, 235.96. Fantine moved into second place. Ahmed Ali in third position. Perez Escalona and Perez Diego in fourth and fifth. Here we see in these races, there's two heats, there's 10 swimmers, so we need to lose two from the to make it through to the final. And these Swimmers, which is why we see Ponce Bertrand, who is in and out of the lane with a slightly slower end of time, taking control of the race to try and guarantee his his progression into the final this evening. Antonio Fantin here is making his debut for the Italian team at these World Para Swimming Championships of 2017 and getting a nice race under his belt to settle his nerves and give him some confidence for this evening. Well, that's Bertrand. He's going to lead them into his 300 mark. 
Jamie Youngster in second. Just under four minute mark here as they come to this final 100. Perez Escalona has moved through now, challenging for third position. Early leader Ahmed Ali now under threat from the Cuban. Perez Escalona conserving energy here he knows that if he's in the top three of this heat he will make it into the final oh he's trying to hold on though to just leading them through now Ponce Bertran and Antonio Fantin in first and second position they look like they're going to be safely through into that final there's no doubt about the leaders the front runners in this first heat but as we saw there Perez Escalona Starting to wind up his stroke, and I'm still comfortable winding it up to sit on the shoulder. And as we went into that final turn, just taking over Ahmed Ali to try and secure that third spot in this first heat. And first two swimmers coming into the final stages now. It looks like it is going to be Antonio Fantin will take this one. He does take it in 5.15.51. So that could be a big improvement on his best time. He'll be pleased with that one. Ponce Bertrand in second position in 5.17 and it looks like Perez Escalona will come through into third position so he should make it into that final that was very very relaxed from the Paralympic bronze medalist yeah. time for Par Perez Escalona 5.37 just ahead of Ahmed Ali 5.40.19 Fifth position, 5.45.17. So, young Italian, 5.15.51. Good swim. I just think Perez Escalona looked like he had a plan there. I feel like he knew exactly what he was doing. He got a good start and then really settled in, almost used it as a training swim, built the 400 meters just doing just enough to secure himself a place in the final but all credit to Antonio Fantin he wasn't phased by the fact that it was his first race at a major championships he built through the 400 meters didn't get sucked into anyone else's race plan looked comfortable and actually wound it up wound it up a negative split that race so his second half of his race was five seconds quicker than the first half of his race very good Display there for the Italian swimmer Antonio Fantin. Oscar Tran was comfortable as well in second position in that 400. And Perez Escalona in 